so guys i'm just coming back from church and i just want to share the word with you today so um the gospel that was read today i'm a catholic um was about blind Bartimaeus, how Jesus healed um, the blind Bartimaeus. Now, as Jesus was approaching, um, blind Bartimaeus uh, was screaming, shouting, calling on Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. The version that was read in my church today is have, have pity upon me and people tried to shut him down people asked him to keep quiet people you know they tried to suppress him but he kept shouting he kept screaming he kept calling on the attention of jesus and you know what jesus actually heard him and stopped and beckoned on him to come and so he went to jesus and jesus asked him so what do you want me to do for you guys at that point i mean I, I before today i had heard this gospel since when i was young but today's gospel was so fresh because it is every time that jesus asks us what we want him to do for us so at that time maybe people were around would have said uh uh what kind of question is this? Uh, can Jesus see that he is blind? But of course, he had to ask because people have so many needs. You do not know the one that is pressing at that time. After all, blind Bartimaeus was begging. On that spot, every day begging for arms. So, I mean, he could have just asked Jesus to give him money. You know, so Jesus needed to find out exactly what the man needed at that point. We all have needs. If you remember in economics, we have um, um, that uh, theory that states that we should prioritize our needs. Okay, scale of preference. What do you want? Jesus asked, what do you want me to do for you? And simple, he said, I want to see again. And so you out there, what do you want Jesus to do for you? Do you want to see again? Have you been groping in the dark? I know some people out there who would um, wake up and feel that they have seen the light. Recently, people have been crit uh, criticizing Christianity saying all manner of things saying that jesus is not alive saying you know oh i wake up to uh young people young people you know saying things that they don't know personally jesus has been in fact today i wept in church because i can count you know how many times i had approached him asked him to do things for me and then i see jesus responding to my needs sometimes it could be instant needs instant miracles instant answers to my questions so today my friend if you have watched me till this time i am not a preacher but i just I decided today to share with you the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask you, what do you want Jesus to do for you? And you know what the beautiful thing about um, blind Bartimaeus? He did not allow himself to be distracted. He did not allow the voices of so many people to suppress his quest, his a desire to have Jesus intervene in his situation. He did not allow that. Most times, we allow influences from here and there, from people, from, uh, you know, everybody to suppress our desire to encounter, to have that personal encounter with Jesus. 
we allow the infiltrations of ignorant people you know to deprive us of that special encounter with Jesus so my friend what exactly do you want Jesus to do for you he said when he um, knocks on your door will you open he is constantly always knocking on our doors asking us this same question every day every minute of our lives what do you want me to do for you but your unbelief will not allow you to know that Jesus is always ready yes ready to grant your request you know what he told blind Bartimaeus? he said go your faith has made you whole faith the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen it is that your faith that you have to exercise at every moment do not allow any kind of distractions when you are in need for that touch of Jesus and I ask for the ultimate time what my friend do you want Jesus to do for you wow I am a living witness witness sorry a living testimony that God answers prayers that God hears and responds to our needs thank you friends for listening to you to me i will see you some other time keep living in the affirmation that jesus is constantly attuned to your needs just ask ask him and of course you will receive Thank you, friends, and see you in my next video. Bye.